watching Fraser Focus Local Faces and Local Places. Today we talk about the music scene here in the Fraser region. Not everybody wants to head into Vancouver for a show. We're talking about the lack of music venues here. There's not really much of a music scene. Like as soon as you leave the city, it's really hard to find places to actually play. What we need is a new breeding ground for the next wave of original acts and touring acts to come out of. There's been a long tradition of music in the Fraser Valley and there are a lot of talented musicians to, to see, um, but sadly I don't think the infrastructure is there. It's like 40 by 20, yeah. 25. Yeah, that sounds good, right? It's a good size. Right now we're on the rodeo grounds of the Cloverdale Rodeo. It's including the Longhorn Saloon. And... So that's the big stage for the rodeo. That's correct. Yeah. But we're talking about uh, utilizing another stage. Well, we're talking about utilizing all of the stages here throughout the year, but starting in Shannon Hall, which is located over here, where most people know it as the Cloverdale Flea Market building, which was built in roughly 1950, actually as a dance hall for live music. We're gonna have a stage that's at least 20 by 12. We're working with Alternate Productions, who's gonna do um, all the sound and technical production of the shows. Um, so they'll have all their gear in here as well, set up at the stage. It's a good thing that dinosaurs are going to be gone by then, because they're going to ruin the shows. Oh, I know. <laughs> all our shows are going to have food options, food trucks and local barbecue. Our first show. Yeah, we're doing first. Steve Kozak and Paul Pagat. At the Shannon Hall. Yep. Yeah. Nice. So it's like a 550 cap room, right? There's a lot of interest in it. It's just a matter of... Uh, Getting it, getting it going, keeping it going, that's the thing. I mean, there's so many great talents. Offers on the dirt road. So there's a need in the South Fraser market. So out here, your options are really Abbotsford Center. Yeah, for big, big for, bands. For bands around 5,000. Well, on the other end of the spectrum, you're dealing with pubs and nightclubs, which includes yeah. Gabby's. The Flamingo's now shut down. Right. Um, I haven't heard anything about a, uh, the Peacock in a while. So the Flamingo was rezoned for the development of high rises in the community, which was needed. Into the fall, we have some more blues shows. We're booking country, uh, hard rock. Uh, we're talking to agencies around national tours for the fall about being the West Coast location. So all genres then. All genres, yeah. Usually the venues that you can play at as an up and coming band or an artist range from coffee shops to do-it-yourself venues. Uh, and those don't always last forever. Having something local, and if it is going to be something that's going to be an open, again, genre kind of thing, it, it's going to be great because the, now there's something, and it's a bigger venue as well. So, so how, what sort of seating are you going to have there? Uh, it's tables and chairs. Yeah. And so with a full with bar. A, with a bar. With lounge. a full bar, yeah. So it'll and a, be a real entertainment thing. VIP area. With one of the very last shows of Brick House. Coming in August, which is one of their very last shows ever. The first live shows took place at Shannon Hall in June. For future updates and shows, check out Cloverdale Concerts. You're watching Fraser Focus. Stay with us.